Hello, today you are going to learn how to update a firmware manually on any high vision security network camera, easy and fast way with no any software downloads. You're on the People Systems channel. My name is Daniel. We begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. There is three ways to update a firmware for a high vision camera, and that is a web interface via IBMS 4200s and via batch configurator software. We will go with the most common and universal option, supposing no any downloads, the web interface. So first of all, you need a full camera marking, which is a DS-2CD1021-I for me. And note that this instruction is applicable to every high collision network camera, regardless of its class and features. And you can locate yours on the camera box, there it is, and somewhere uh, on the informational plate, somewhere on the exact device body, which is, for this camera, up here. And you can also locate your camera's marking in a high vision PC tools, such as IVMS 4200s used to work with cameras. So here's my camera, and I can just expand a serial number, and here I have a device serial number and, or a device marking. And then we go to a high vision website. Let me just type it down. Vision.com. Load. Yeah, there we go accepting the cookie policy and here we need to locate the such a search button where we type in our camera's serial number or the marking in the field so it's the s dash to cd 2021 for me and press search button by the way it may be a different website layout for your country but the idea is the same and here's a list with search results and here's the cam i was looking for pressing and I'm getting redirected to a product cart with my camera. I scroll down, and here I have a uh, download center and a firmware tab, where I press firmware download, and it gives me the latest available firmware for my camera, and I'm just saving a file in the downloads. Save. The download begun, we're just waiting a few seconds, Great, and once you download it, we open the folder and unzip the archive, pressing extract all, extract, and there we have uh, a folder with the exact firmware file named digicap.dav. Then, for our purpose of updating camera's firmware, we are going to camera's web interface via Internet Explorer or the Mozilla Firefox. And note that these browsers are actually mandatory to make it all work properly. So we type in camera's IP address, which is 192.168.1.65. And on the page, we input our user data. Login. And right away, go into a configuration tab. Have it. System. Maintenance. And here on the bottom, we have the upgrade item. Now we press in browse and locating that previously downloaded digicap.dav firmware file, pressing open. And well, now the most crucial step, we press upgrade button. We'll see a prompt that it will reboot automatically after upgrading, and that's definitely OK. Pressing OK. And now wait until the process is completed. After that is done, you'll be redirected back to the web interface. And what we need to do now, we need to reset a camera to default settings. So for that, we log back into the camera's web interface. Login. We are returned to the same tab, to the system, maintenance, and here we press this default button. Seeing the prompt, definitely pressing OK. Now camera is going to reset and reboot, and after that, just activate your camera as a new device, and when that is done, you are finally ready to work with the camera running a new firmware. If you purchase the camera from us, we can help you update your firmware, well, just contact our technical support on the Paper Systems Store website. And we can also help you select your perfect security camera. So follow the link in the description and specify you are people subscriber to get a better offer.
Thank you for watching.